some people learn mathematics a lot faster than other people. It's just a fact. It's something I've seen. I taught college for several years, well over a decade, and I've seen people who really struggle with mathematics, right? They really, really struggle. And some people, you know, they pick it up pretty quickly. One thing, though, I've noticed is that when you get to, like, higher level math, everyone struggles. It doesn't matter how good you are. Once you get to the really hard classes, everyone struggles. So it's kind of strange. It's kind of like certain people just struggle at the beginning, and then once they get over that initial hump, they can kind of catch up to other people, and I kind of feel like once you get to a certain level, everyone's kind of the same. Sure, there's going to be some people who are just smarter and better, but I think discipline, work ethic, attitude... I think it plays a bigger role than people think. It's not just about being smart. It's not just about IQ. And I'm just speaking from experience um, because I feel like I'm okay at mathematics and I was able to learn a lot of math. Anyways, in this video, I wanna show you a book that you can use if you're struggling. Like if you're one of those people who feels like math is super hard and you just can't figure it out, this book is gonna help you. And I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's still in print pretty sure it's still available. This might be an older edition. What I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description of this video in case you want to check out this book and read the reviews and stuff. But I bought this book a little while ago, really inexpensive, wasn't that much. It's a thick book. And it's a book on algebra. It's called The Humongous Book of Algebra Problems. 1,000 algebra problems with comprehensive solutions for all the major topics of Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 translated for people who don't speak math. So Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 are high school courses uh, here in the United States. Now, I don't know much uh, about high school courses. Uh, well, actually, I do. You know, I've, I know what's in Calc AB and BC and all that stuff. But um, I've never taught high school, I guess, is the point. I've only taught in colleges. But the mathematics is the same. This is basic algebra. And with a book like this, I do feel you can learn really well. Like, let's look at this example here, and then we'll take a, a look at the content so you can see what this book covers. But you see how here we have an example with the system of equations, right? And just look at all of look at all of the steps they show, right? It's like way too many steps for someone like me, I guess, who already knows how to do it. And it's got all these explanations. So if you already know how to do stuff, you don't really need this huge explanation. So what you could do is you could look at the problem, try to do it, and then just check your answer right here, which is kind of nice. But if you're one of those people who like really needs extra help, then this is a book that's going to help you. In fact, I hate to say it, but this book will help you more than a regular textbook. Okay, so if you're really, really weak at math, this might be uh, something to consider. I, I still recommend also getting a regular textbook, uh, but this is a great place to start for learning basic algebra. So let's take a look at the contents. My copy is used, and it's got... Again, everything you need for Algebra 1 and Algebra 2. So arithmetic fundamentals, rational numbers, basic algebraic expressions, then linear equations. This is really easy stuff. Again, if, if you know it. If you don't know it, um, it is hard, right? There are people who struggle with this. And I remember learning this stuff. I remember sitting at the kitchen table learning about lines, you know, y equals mx plus b. So we all have to start somewhere. So here's some more of the topics. Matrix, look, it's even got matrices, matrix operations and calculations. That's not something I expected. Applications of matrix algebra, polynomials, right? Factoring polynomials, radical expressions, quadratic equations and inequalities. One thing I don't like about this book is this weird font. I'm not a big fan of that font. I, I just kind of feel like it clashes. I get it. The book's trying to be fun and have some fun fonts, which, which is okay. I have other books like that. It's just not for me. Logarithms, exponential functions, some college algebra stuff type here. So you learn this in college algebra courses. And then some of this stuff you would learn in like in a pre-calc course. Like in college, if you take pre-calculus, that's when you would learn about conic sections typically. You wouldn't learn about it typically in an algebra course, at least in the U.S. Here's the introduction. It's got the acknowledgments. It's got the little skull and crossbones. Kind of fun, right? Keep things interesting. And then your one-stop shop for a review of numbers, chapter one. So let's just read the little intro here, see what it says. It says, algebra at its core is a compendium, ooh, big word, of mathematical concepts, axioms, theorems, and algorithms rooted in abstraction. Mathematics is most powerful when it is not fettered by the limitations of the concrete. And the first step towards shedding those restrictions is the introduction of the variable, a structure into which any number of values may be substituted. However, 
algebra students must first possess considerable knowledge of numbers before they can make the next logical step, representing concrete values with abstract notation. And then here it says, this chapter ensures that you are thoroughly familiar with the most common classifications used to describe numbers, provides an opportunity to manipulate sign numbers arith arithmetically, and investigates the foundational mathematical principles that govern algebra. It's a well-written book. I'm just curious now. I have to look after reading that. 2008. Okay, copyrights 2008. So it's from 2008. So it's from this century. So it's a, a, definitely a modern book. It's a, it's a workbook, right? It's not a textbook. So you can see the layout here. Numbers fall into different groups. It's got some examples. And you know, I think the best way to work with a book like this is just to sit down and tell yourself you're going to read it every day, right? Every single day you sit down and you, you just do a little bit and you turn it into a habit, right? You make it a habit. There, there's a book um, that's really famous that is really popular. People love it. And it's a good book. I've read most of it. It's called Atomic Habits. And it talks about stuff like that. And uh, it's just a good reminder that, you know, that's how you succeed at things, you know, make, make, turn things into habits, I think is the main idea there. So, yeah, so you can turn mathematics into a habit and you start small and you work through it every day. This is cool. Inequalities in one variable. Let's take a look at this here. Yeah, and I like how it has these little blurbs here. So again, if it helps you understand everything by having um, those, those little those little side notes that a lot of textbooks won't do, right? I mean, look at all the effort here. He's even showing like the canceling. I mean, it's just, and, and the typesetting is great. Uh, excellent job to the author of this book, Michael Kelly. Michael Kelly, great job, Michael. Very, very good. Yeah, writing a math book is, is just a monumental task. I don't think people realize how hard it is. I started to write a math book and then I kind of stopped and then I don't know where it is. I lost the file. I was like 80% done. Someday I will find it and finish. It's just a workbook, kind of like this, except it's, it's calculus, nothing really special, you know. There's already a lot of good math books out there, so it's hard to find, um, I don't know, the, a reason to make another one. I mean, this is great. Look at these. These are, these, are, these are harder. These are harder problems. You might say, that's not hard. Well, it's, it's hard relative to what you're doing. I mean, you've got two times the absolute value of x plus three minus five, so then here you have an example, and then they explain it here. It's kind of a really good, really good example. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. So yeah, just a, a really good book on algebra. It's got logarithms. Demonstrate the logarithmic property presented in 18.34 by verifying that. Oh yeah, it's the product rule for logs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all kinds of stuff in here. And how many problems did it say it had? Let's go back here. It said uh, a thousand algebra problems. Wow. Let's look at the back here. See what it says here. Check out the back of the book. The only way to learn algebra is to do algebra problems. A lot of them, sorry. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that, that, is, that is true. Um, there's that expression, which I really don't like. Uh, it's mathematics is not a spectator sport. And I guess I don't like it because I don't really watch, I mean, I don't really watch sports that much. And uh, I don't know if mathematics is really a sport. I mean, I guess. Uh, what's the definition of a sport, right? So I don't know. I think math, uh, it's a mental sport, that's for sure. And that's what you get here. More algebra problems than your worst nightmare, but with a big difference, I've been through the whole book and made a ton of notes. So you get, yes, really detailed answers, no more skip steps. Extra explanations that make baffling perfectly, make what's baffling perfectly clear, yes. Pointers to other problems to show, that show skills you need. With a thousand problems, all of the major players are here. Linear equations and inequalities, polynomials, quadratics, word problems, functions, and graphing on the number line. And here's, here's Michael. Here's Michael. See if it talks a little bit about him, perhaps. So Michael Kelly has written a bunch of books about math, like The Complete Idiot's Guide to Pre-Calculus, The Complete Idiot's Guide to Calculus. So he's a book writer. He's got his website. Cool. Yeah. Good stuff. So he is a person who uh, writes a lot of books, a lot of math books, and sells them on Amazon, right? That's, that's where I got this book. And again, I'll leave a link in the description um, so you can check out uh, the book on Amazon. I actually have courses that can help you too if you're trying to learn algebra. I actually have an algebra course. It's called a college algebra course. It's got everything you see here pretty much. Maybe not some of the really basic stuff, but it's got more. And you can check it out. Uh, just check out my website, mathsorcerer.com, and you can see all my courses there. They're actually on the Udemy platform. 
or is it Udemy? I think it's a Udemy, like Academy, U Udemy. Anyways, they're there, but if you get them, please, please, please use my website. Otherwise, Udemy takes a huge cut. So use the links on my website, mathsorcerer.com, or in the description of any of my videos. And there's a college algebra course, and I have some calculus courses and differential equations and stuff, which can help you. And there's assignments and stuff. So the videos can help. Um, I think that when you're making a video and explaining something, it's a little bit easier than having to read a book. I think reading books is harder, but I think reading books is important and it's a good skill. So it's good to get better at it, especially if you want to learn higher math, because once you get to the higher level math, it's, it's really about the books, you know, it's really about the books. Yeah. So check those out if you want to learn math. And again, I'll leave a link in the description um, to this algebra book for beginners. And if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. Key takeaway from this video, the main thing you should take away is that this is a book that's good for someone who is struggling with mathematics and needs uh, some extra help. And I think the best way to get better at math is to do math every day and just try to do some math every day. You can time it if you want to or not time it. Just get yourself to do it, whatever it takes, even just one problem, a little bit every day. Uh, goes a long way and that that was not intended to rhyme <laughs> so anyways i talk too much until next time good luck take care keep doing mathematics